So the purpose of this study ultimately is to try and improve the way that we can prevent anterior cruciate ligament injuries. Uh, currently, prevention programs uh, tend to be like a hodgepodge of different types of training ideas all put together with the hope that they'll reduce the risk of this, this injury. That's important because anterior cruciate ligament injuries ultimately uh, increase the risk of knee osteoarthritis. And with the fact that most of these injuries tend to peak in boys and girls between 13 and 16 years old, that suggests that within the next two or three decades, we may have a lot of younger people with having to have knee replacements and a reduced quality of life. So the goal of our study, or the, the purpose of it, basically is to look at the current prevention training ideas and really identify what are the key components of these training programs that do actually work. So in, if you want to assess the, the effectiveness or how successful a training program is, you really want to see that it actually can modify something which was originally a risk. Uh, so we know that there are certain types of movements when, when girls land during sports activities which we consider high risk. For instance, if you land with your knee too straight or if you land in more of a knock-kneed position or an abducted position, we know they tend to be risk factors and so if you land that way it tends to increase the risk of an anterior cruciate ligament injury. So what we want to do is basically see whether our training programs can actually reduce those types of movements. So the first thing we do, we bring all of the girls into the lab. They put markers on, similar to what you'd see in like an EA Sports sort of game. Uh, we test and we look at the way their knee moves during these landings. We look at the forces in their knees and their hips and ankles during these landings. We also look at how well they can move and how these, the knee moves during uh, unanticipated movements, similar to what you'd see in sports, where you really don't get to make a decision until you're already in the air. And so we're going to test those things first. Then we're going to have them undergo a six-week training program where we take the current training programs and we break them into individual components. So some people will just look at uh, balance control, improving the way they balance. Some will just look at the way they can jump in terms of jumping higher, jumping, being more powerful. Uh, some will just be trained in being faster and more agile. And some will be trained being stronger. And then another group will be trained having all of those things put together. And then what we'll do after six weeks, we'll retest them again and see whether those training programs have actually been able to reduce these types of movements. I think there are some immediate benefits and ultimately I think some very long-term important benefits. So these programs do two things. One, they should hopefully improve the way you move and make, it a, make you land more safely. So even after six weeks, we should see a lot of these girls being able to land more safely and reduce the risk of an injury, we hope. The other benefit of these programs is they've also been shown to improve performance. So after six weeks, uh, you should be stronger. You should be able to run hopefully faster and be more agile. All of the things that are really important for the sports that these girls already play. So they're the short-term benefits. But I think, and probably more importantly, the long-term benefits are if we can reduce the likelihood that these girls go on to suffer an ACL injury, that means we're going to reduce the potential for them to have osteoarthritis, severe knee joint problems, and, and it's sort of, sort of to maximize their quality of life for a long period of time. To learn more about Professor McLean and the research at the Bone and Joint Injury Prevention and Rehabilitation Center, log on to our website, www.bjiprc.umich.edu.